Major key, not enough people are doing this. You should drink a lot of water every day. Right now, probably for the next one, two minutes, is gonna be me just talking about the exhaust, and then fast forward to the other second half, is gonna be just exhaust clips. So if you wanna watch that, you can just skip to that. All right, I, I wear hats now, it's a thing. I actually like to wear this hat a lot. I think I have this hat and like one other hat, but I'm gonna start wearing hats. So, welcome back to my channel. You know what, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna say that again. I really actually hate starting my YouTube video with, hey, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future, but I'm not gonna do that. My, my dog got injured last week when my parents were out of town, so I didn't actually end up uploading this video last week. I didn't really have all of it filmed, and I may or may not have deleted the main clip I had in my last video that was right now, and it was me talking, so I'm uploading it today. If you guys are watching this, thank you. Two weeks ago, my friend and I were at work. We were looking at exhaust setups for my car. I didn't want to spend too much on it, and I also I didn't want to cheap out on this build. Like I say that all the time, and I feel like I am just cheaping out on it, but I ended up going with an exhaust from a company called Auto Dynasty. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. I know I hadn't prior to buying this exhaust, and they actually don't even have like a website or anything. A little skeptical on buying it because it was just, it, okay, the exhaust was $358. That was like a super low amount and everything, and that, I just thought that was kind of weird that the exhaust was so cheap. But after reading the reviews, I think there was like 20 reviews, they were all five and four stars. I was like, let's be a little bit better. And then I looked at like what it was made of and it was all just stainless steel, just like an Nvidia exhaust or like a Fast Intentions exhaust or just all, all these other exhausts. And I, I, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. Um, I, I'd like to think that it's made as the same components as all these other huge name brands, so it can't be much worse. Did this exhaust off, off of Amazon, got it on Amazon Prime, came like two days later, came over, my friend texted me, he's like, hey man, why don't we just put it on after work, let it be known, it was 11 at night when we started this, probably finished like 2 or 3 in the morning. Honestly, for those of you who have never installed the catback exhaust, it is so easy. The hardest part is just, at least for us, I, I, I say it's super easy, but like we actually had a little bit of trouble with it because on the old exhausts, I have 50,000 miles on the car and it was literally 50,000 miles of rust and dirt and debris on, on the old exhaust and getting some of those bolts off was a pain in the ass. Oh my gosh. It was bad. We ended up doing it. My friend actually had to get, we got like an electrical saw and at three in the morning, my friend's under there and he just sawed it off. Shout out to you, Fox. If you are watching this, you are the man. That was. That, that was that was really cool and I was kind of worried we weren't going to be able to get it on just because it was kind of late but at this point we had the entire like everything was unbolted it, we just couldn't get it off of, like the subframe weird little thing I was going to film this too but just the fact that it was 3 in the morning I wanted to be courteous of like my friend's family and his neighbors and everything so I didn't actually end up filming that but I'm, I'm, I'm super satisfied with everything about the exhaust. The only thing that's a little annoying is the fitment issues, and I, I, I expected this because I know with like aftermarket parts in general, I can't expect it to align up like perfectly with the OEM fitment and whatnot. That being said, like this exhaust was $350, and if the worst part to come from this exhaust is like a little alignment issue, I'm okay with that. It has four and a half inch muffler tips, and it's just a full cap back, and it is, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the exhaust. Like I was saying, um, it was only $350, the welds were there, like everything seemed really high quality. It's been on my car for about two weeks, I can honestly say everything was pretty good quality, it's held up well. Um, after we installed it, about two or three days later, I just went back under and tightened everything up because, you know, you new exhaust, this new exhaust setup, things are heating up, I've been driving it for a little while. Weeks in, it's... It's held up well. Uh, that's kind of my biggest issue with this exhaust is I'm worried that because like it's so cheap, maybe the maybe the durability won't be there as much. But I'm just when I downshift, I actually hear a noise. When I get on the gas pedal, I actually hear a noise. And like when I start it up on a cold start, um, next clip is probably gonna be a cold start, and it sounds so good. I love it. Sorry, my neighbors, if you're watching this because it's I don't know. My friend said it wasn't that loud. I think to me it's loud. It's louder than I want it. So for a 370Z owner who doesn't want to spend that much of on an exhaust, I hope this video actually can bring you some value and you highly consider getting an Auto Dynasty exhaust. I love it. I'm super hyped on it. Roll the exhaust clips. Oh, there's a boy. Leo, you're a tough pup. You tough pup, Leo. Oh my gosh, he's walking on it. He's walking. You know how many people wish you well, bro?
Oh, like I mentioned earlier, the main thing I wasn't too fond of about this exhaust is kind of the fitment issue. On the right side, it's okay, but the left side, it's a little, ah, it's, it's like about the same, but just, it doesn't line up perfectly center with the exhaust holes, which is kind of annoying. But look at that beast. Look at that beast. Here goes a somewhat cold start. Okay, the car was already warm, so that wasn't a nearly as loud as it is off of a cold start, but that's an idea of just how loud it is at, like, at idle. I'll get some clips in a sec. And this is the guy who hurt our pup. <laughs> Bang. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bang. See ya. You already know we're repping the best. <laughs> pulled over, I'm kind of like on this road I drive sometimes, it's by my house, it's kind of away from all like the city and whatnot, and I'm gonna try and get some clips with me driving by. Oh god, drop that! Little tripods every YouTuber has, it's like the flexi pods thing. I literally put that on a pole. So if this is working right now and this stays on, you watch the clip, get one of those things and you're a YouTuber, get those, they're dope. I have absolutely no idea how well those clips turned out of me actually driving the car and I don't really know how well it looked when I just set the camera up, but bottom line is, if any of oh, 370 owners, I think they make this for 350s also, I honestly am in love, like it's not too loud, the drone is, there's a little bit of drone on the freeway, get an Auto Dynasty exhaust, I cannot stress that enough. I will see you guys next Friday.